Hi, welcome back. Let's get started. The first thing in CSS I would like to teach you guys is uh, text manipulation. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to change the color of the text. And we want to change the text size and also with a different font. So the first thing is uh, if, if you open our original one, you can see uh, here we do not have a column for color. So uh, as a practice for HTML, let's add a column of color first. Remember, th means table header. So let's add one more table header. And then for the corresponding slot, we have to add the table data. For example, Adam is red, Bob is blue, and maybe Kelvin is green, right? Come back to our HTML page, we hit a refresh. We can immediately see we add a new column. But the thing is that we want to change the text color, right? Like this, red, green, and blue. Okay, it's okay, it's a red, blue, green, or red, green, blue, but we follow the text for the color. So in order to change the text color, we have to come back and add our first custom CSS. So in the red, table data we type style remember the style attribute is for you to add inline CSS into the HTML tag okay so the first one I want to introduce is the color so for every CSS element it comes with a text representing the uh, key of the style you want to change with a colon and then the value with a semicolon at the end so it's a key colon and then value and then semicolon let's try to save this and then go back to our page hit the refresh we can immediately see it turns to red so for the remaining two We may want to do a blue and then green. We save it, come back, hit the refresh, see it. And then uh, for the name part, for the name part, remember we want to increase the font size and also we want to change the font family. So in the name part, we type style. Style is for you, is an attribute for you to add CSS inline. Okay, so the first thing is uh, we want to change the size of the fonts. We use the key font size, change to 24 pixel, and then semicolon. Remember the format is a key, colon, value and then semicolon. We save the first one, go back to the page, hit refresh, you can see it becomes bigger immediately. Okay, so we try to apply this style to Kelvin and Bob as well. Now, the last thing we want to do is to change the text, the font family. To change the font family, we use a key font family. And then you have to add the name of the font you want. For example, for the one I display, it's called a uh, Courier New. So, I, uh, for the font family, in case uh, you don't have this in your browser, if you're using an IE or, or other Edge browser, it, some of the fonts may not supply. So you can add uh, other values, separate with a comma as a backup. So uh, let me add uh, two more as a backup. The first one is a career new, the second one is times, and then uh, the third one is uh, serif. So if uh, your browser doesn't support career new, it will go for time and then serif. So let's try to save it. Go back, hit refresh, you can see. 
the text atom already changed the font color, uh, the font family, sorry. So it looks good. Let's uh, copy and then paste to both Bob and Kelvin. We save it, we hit refresh. Now we can see uh, in this video we learned color, font size, and font family. Those are the CSS key that can uh, help you do text manipulation. So uh, in the next in the next video I will introduce more uh, CSS key value pairs that can modify the background of uh, HTML tag. So see you in the next video.